All right, everyone. So today I'm going to do an exclusive video on a review for Shaper 3D. And basically we're going to launch this app. What it is, is this is a CAD software, a piece of CAD software just for the iPad. Um, so what's really neat about this is it's one of the few apps I could find that would accomplish what I was looking to accomplish. Um, and what I really like about it is that there is a free version of it where you can do two, two uh, drawings at a time and you can export low quality STL documents. So for your hobby grade um, CAD drawer, this is something that would be perfect for you. If you're using this as a professional and you need the paid version, it is a little bit expensive. It's $240 per year. So every year you're going to have to re-up or you can pay month, month to month at about $20 a month. Um, the one thing I've noticed is since downloading this, they have constant updates. So this is a piece of software that's constantly being tweaked and fixed and enhanced to get it uh, to be the best that it can possibly be. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll make this video as quick and informative as possible. So as you can see, this is the app here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is I do not have my Apple Pencil connected for a reason. I'm going to click into a drawing. And at, as you'll see at the very top, it says Apple Pencil is not connected. You really cannot do anything with this drawing except pan around and just look at it. So really there's no tools or anything that can be done. This app is useless without an Apple Pencil. So you will need to purchase one of those. So we are gonna go ahead and plug in our Apple Pencil and we will get moving through this. So one thing I wanna kind of note is I don't have much for CAD experience. I have a lot with viewing DWG files, um, but I do not have drawing experience. So this is after, I would say about a month and a half of use, I was able to pick things up very, very quickly. So this is a drawing I did. I actually made my kids um, some pots on a 3D printer and for gr growing plants. And I wanted to be able to make a little tray to catch any excess water that may come down. So. Um, I was able to make this in there and put uh, a cool little S in the middle. Looks like a lightning bolt. Um, if you click in here, you can see all of the designs that you've made. So I'm actually running this on two separate iPads. Um, this one just had a few basic drawings. So here I actually made um, a new vent cover for our floor. So we've had a floor vent cover that's broken and I want to be able to draw up a new one. So let's just go through what the app does. Basic, basic function. So one thing I want to note is almost instantly I was able to jump into this app and start figuring it out. One really cool thing is that on this question button, they have tutorial videos. So at any point that I had any questions, I could reference these either on YouTube or right inside of the app and kind of click through them. And the neat thing is if you're just getting into CAD drawing and it's, you know, just like a hobby thing or you're, you're learning for a profession. Each one of these videos you can watch and it just teaches you. We will model this object. So again, you can go full screen on it flawlessly. Make sure millimeter is selected. And as you're learning things, you can hide the video, you can drag it around, you can kind of move it out of your way. So I found myself constantly referencing the videos and going back to my drawing and then executing based on what I've learned. So that's really cool on that question tab. The other cool thing is they do have um, a manual and they also have a forum. So if you can't find anything in any of the videos, that forum is really good to be able to post up a question online and get some good feedback from other users. Uh, you can import different files. So that's also pretty cool. Um, we cancel out of there. You can also import a photo, which is awesome. So one thing I did is I actually would go and make a lettering that I wanted and I would save it as a photo and I'd import the photo in here. And for instance, if I wanted to stamp my name on the top of this vent cover or stamp anything I want in here, you can actually trace out the letters for that and then stamp it into the top of your design. So that is a really cool feature. The other button at the top is going to be your export. So we can take a screenshot, we can save as, or we can print in 3D. 
So a lot of what I do is I'll go save as, and <clears throat> these are your different file types. So if you want to save it as a shaper file um, right there, that's kind of neat to be able to save it. And, you know, that way in case you ever, you know, rebooted your app or lost everything in your app, you have everything saved as a shaper file, you could re-upload it. Um, but a lot of what you're going to use if you're doing 3D like I am is STL files. So a quick save there, you can name the file. You can select your resolution or your quality. Um, you can save each item in its own separate files, which is actually really, really nice for 3D printing. So for me, I don't like printing many objects at once. I like to take one at a time, make sure it's printed properly and go to the next. And this allows you to do that, save it as a separate item. Um, then as you continue, it gives you your options of how you'd like to share it. So you can airdrop it, you can message it just like any other document, which is pretty cool. So um, that's kind of your options in the upper left hand corner. Quickly going through um, sketch. So this is where you can actually sketch items. So um, for instance, if I wanted to put a cylinder on top, we could sketch a circle here um, and then pan down. You've got different options if you want to tap on it and extrude this up for whatever reason. Everything you do with your finger on here is going to be to change the view. So as you're rotating around an axis, you can zoom up, pan out. Um, really handy feature, I use this a ton, is hitting the undo, undo, and we're back to where we were. Um, and again, here's all your sketch options. So you can sketch a rectangle. If we tap on there, you see an arrow with options. Um, gives you all your different options and also handy videos and you can X out of those if you don't want them and offset is another really cool feature so you know just to give you an example if we went in here and we do another circle and I want an offset of that circle just tap and hold and we can go ahead and if we want to just extrude a certain portion of this we certainly could and that's just Kind of really cool. I mean, a lot of this seems very, very basic. And the AutoCAD versions I've used for computers and desktops just doesn't seem to be as user-friendly as something like this that's very hands-on. Um, literally, you are hands-on this. And with the Apple Pencil, it just makes it super, super easy. Um, so going back, if we hit Transform, this is where we can actually move our objects that we have. So... You know, if we're here, a quick double tap on whatever face. So as you notice, if I double tap, if I'm kind of angled here and I double tap on the top, it brings you perfectly level with the top. If we were at this angle and we wanted to double tap on the bottom, it's going to bring you angle with the bottom. Um, so very, very intuitive. This is something you pick up almost immediately. So when you're moving an item, typically you want to be looking at it straight on. And if we want to move... We can go ahead and tap on the items we want to move, and you can move them wherever you want. So that looks really cool there. So different transform options. We can also mirror. So a lot of what you're going to do with CAD is you're going to create half of an object and then mirror it. Very, very handy tool. So a lot of what I found is you almost make things too complicated in the beginning as you're learning, but as you're working your way through it, you find, geez, I may only need to make you know, a fraction of this drawing and then just rotate it around an axis or um, mirror the, the image over another axis, which is, it's really, really easy. So tools, you get a lot of options here. Again, what I love about this app is that everything is super, super simple. So that's all of our options. I just clicked through all of them, but yet you get a whole host of different things that you can do. Um, and it just takes practice. So if you're someone that is already familiar with CAD, um, you know, this will be easy for somebody like you. But let's go ahead, just make a circle, and we'll show you one of those features in um, the tools here. So if we want to go ahead and take this object and we go to tools, we can loft. We will go ahead and we will extrude this up and we'll go to our tools and we are going to try, let's try uh, 
shelling this. So this is something that I actually used for my kids' pots here, was to take this, and you tell how thick do you want those walls to be. So we're gonna go ahead and say five millimeters thick, hit done, and just like that, it's extruded. We zoom up, and a lot of times, especially with 3D printing, I like smooth surfaces, I don't like sharp edges. So we can go in here, we can zoom up as far as we want, and we can go ahead and round these edges on the inside like that. Same thing here, we can select two edges, and we can go ahead, we can round them off, we can square them off, whatever you wanna do, and right there. So this is something that'd be easily 3D printed, and within a matter of minutes, I can have my drawing completed and have this exported, have it sent over to my 3D printer, and I'm done, ready to go. Um, if we click here to the right side, if we get a little disoriented, we can click on like say top and it's gonna show us a top view. And we can hit back, we can hit front, whatever you want from there. Um, appearance, so you have different options here. And I keep that right at 45. Um, and a few options if you wanna allow two finger rotation. I have all mine set to the standard defaults. Now this is gonna be something important here um, a lot of what I do on my 3D printer, I export to millimeters with my slicer program. So I've been drawing everything in millimeters, but here are your different options. So all in all, really, really cool. And what I'm going to show you is here's the pricing sheet. So again, $0 gives you two designs, low quality STL exports and all modeling tools. From here, <clears throat> if you want to upgrade to Pro, you have unlimited designs. You can export and import CAD files, images, colors, and priority support. Um, if you do it on a monthly basis, you're going to be looking at $32 a month. Yearly, you're looking at $240 a year. So um, really, really, really cool. And I would highly recommend if you are interested in something like this, it does not take up that much space on your iPad, go ahead and download it. Um, the only time you'll get dinged for a purchase is if you go ahead and get the annual subscription. Um, and again, that's going to be $240 per year. So it's a little bit hefty. But if this is something you're using for a business, I really can't see it being a whole lot better than this. And I did see some criticism online that this is more of like a play school version of CAD. Um, so I really tested this with a lot of different drawings. And there wasn't a whole lot that I saw that you couldn't do. So if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but I really think this is a full-fledged CAD program um, that is very, very user-friendly. And definitely, 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 if you are an amateur or someone that wants to get into something like this, try out the free trial. Um, as of right now, it's unlimited. You're just limited in the number of drawings. So um, there's no time restraint to 30 days and then they start billing a credit card. It is just a, a flat free trial. So um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll get to those as soon as possible. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching and being subscribers. So if you like this video, please hit the like button for me. It does a lot for the channel and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.